The International Material Data System, or IMDS, is a global platform used primarily in the automotive industry to collect, manage, and report information about the materials used in vehicle components. It was developed by major automotive manufacturers to help ensure compliance with environmental regulations, such as the End of Life Vehicles Directive, ELV, and Registration, Evaluation, Authorization, and Restriction of Chemicals, REACH. What is IMDS used for? IMDS allows manufacturers and suppliers to declare all materials used in parts and components, identify hazardous substances in accordance with international regulations, provide full material transparency throughout the supply chain, support recyclability and sustainability goals. It's a centralized database where every company in the automotive supply chain can input, review, and share material data for the parts they produce or supply. Who uses IMDS? IMDS is used by most OEMs and their Tier 1 and Tier 2 suppliers worldwide. It's not limited to vehicle manufacturers. Companies that supply electrical systems, fasteners, plastics, coatings, and other automotive components are also required to submit material data. If your customers include companies like Volkswagen, Ford, GM, BMW, Toyota, or Stellantis, IMDS compliance is almost certainly part of your business agreements. Is IMDS mandatory? For the majority of automotive suppliers, IMDS is not optional. Submissions are required to move forward with part approvals, and missing data can delay PPAP or lead to rejections. IMDS plays a critical role in proving that your materials meet regulatory and environmental standards making it essential for successful product launch and long-term supplier compliance. Key elements of an IMDS submission. To submit IMDS data correctly, suppliers must provide the following information. A full breakdown of materials used in each component. Material classifications based on global standards. Substance level data, including CAS numbers. References to recyclability and prohibited substances acceptance and approval by customers within the system. Each submission must comply with IMDS rules, which include using standardized materials and following strict structure trees, from raw material to the final part. Consequences of missing or incomplete IMDS data. Missing or incomplete IMDS submissions can lead to serious delays in the approval process. Customers may reject your parts, PPAP packages can be put on hold, and your supplier rating may be impacted. Providing accurate and complete IMDS data from the start helps avoid costly rework and protects your reputation with customers. How is IMDS related to PPAP? IMDS is a key part of the production part approval process. Most customers require a completed IMDS entry before approving a PPAP submission. It proves that the materials used in a part meet regulatory and safety requirements making IMDS essential for product validation and launch readiness. Learn more at spc-us.com.